Yo, yo, bang, bang. Shout out, Rap Grid, you feel me? It's past, representing all of town business. Go to Rap Grid for all the battle rap dopeness, man. Got what I mean? Got it. All right, yo, we live right now, man. Pat Stay. What's happening? Fresh off that. You know what I'm saying? Hollow the Dawn Classic battle, man. You think so? Honestly, classic. Yo, yeah. definitely. Yeah. This is one of them battles that, you know, can't be judged in the building. Word. You know what I mean? You got to go rewatch it, man. Um, Incredible job. Like, let's talk about it, man. What, what, what was your thoughts about it, man? And, you know, was it everything that you hoped it was? Yeah, I, I, all I wanted, to be honest, was uh, for it to go smooth, no one fuck up, really, and uh, and that's what happened. Um, I, I just said in the last interview, I, uh, I literally finished my shit today, so uh, when I'm performing, it wouldn't be as crisp, I guess you'd say, as, as someone who, you know, maybe he had his shit finished for a month, right? Because while I'm, while I'm doing it, I'm, I'm thinking of my shit at the same time. I'm still happy. I'm surprised um, of the outcome of what everyone's saying about it. No, no, wait, let's take it the wrong way. A lot of people were coming up and being like, yo, like, I think you got it 2-1. And wh while I was watching, I thought that he, he had it at least 2-1 because the crowd was going crazy for his shit, right? I have to take other factors in consideration, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, but I learned a lot from him, and, and, and all, all around it, I, I'm happy with the outcome, regardless of whatever anybody thinks. I'm just, it, it's, a, it's an honor anyways. We're at such a high level that, you know, it's a, it's a blessing. So. Now, you say you just finished writing yeah. um, today, which, today, which is weird to me because, you know, you're supposed to have, you know, three rounds last time. Um, you know, so you scrapped, you know, the other two rounds you had for him or, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and you rewrote three actual new rounds? Right. Mm. Why, why, why'd you do that? Um, it's funny because uh, I was like, yo, this Boston crowd is going to want some hard shit. You know what I mean? And guess what? They didn't. They fucking didn't. I love the Boston crowd, but I was like, yo, he was the smart one because he did the more silly shit with the fucking funny punchlines, right? I was like, yo, I can out funny him. Right, but this crowd's gonna want that, uh, that, that, that heavy shit, and uh, they they reacted more to the funny shit. So they yes. learn every single time. I don't care who you are, how long you've been doing it. You learn every every environment is different. And uh, for example, the battle right before us had a completely different vibe, completely different vibe. So it's all an experience. I'm just glad it's over. Right. Facts. Um, your third round. Right. Um. You know, well, I, I should start with his third round, you know what I'm saying? In your second, you know, you brought up about, you know, the whole, you know, him being locked up, and he kind of rebuttaled it. Right. Um, You know what I'm saying? What, what was your thoughts going, I mean, don't, what was that rebuttal? I thought it was pretty good. What, what did you? I thought yeah. it was awesome. See, the difference is. You think he had that written though already, or? Obviously, yeah. Mm. That's him, man. You don't just fucking freestyle and fucking 24 bars, some really deep shit. But that I don't take nothing away from that at all. So what it is is you know you had a bunch of different shit because you know we we as as battle rappers we have do things called pre rebuttals right mm -hmm. so that would have been him being like okay I think Pat's gonna we'd be in jail I'm gonna have this so he did it at a really good time it, it's, it sunk in smooth to the point where he didn't have to stop his shit and look like he was all freestyle I'm not taking anything away from him I thought it was great um, as men. Me and him look at things the same way. All the shit he was saying is like, you think that shit's cool? He's like, no, I don't. Like, I have the exact same mind state as you. Uh, you know what I mean? I, 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 we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Now, yo, your third round. What? Um, versus Hollow. It was very deep mm. to me. Um, as I'm watching it, yo, I'm like, wow. Like, you could tell, like, you, you poured your heart out I in that you. third route. What? I you know what I'm saying? Um, going into it, thought process, you know. Can, can you take me back to the writing process, man, when you're first thinking about that and why you felt like, you know, you needed to say that to him? I wrote that in one hour, tops. Um, and uh, I just thought it was some shit because I actually think Hollow's a real stand-up dude. I do. I know. And um, 
certain things that <clears throat> maybe it's where we come from or something, but Scotians, we have a certain, I won't say morals, but I didn't agree with some of the things that you know he's been doing. And, and he explained to me afterwards, a short conversation, listen, I'm only loyal to my immediate people I'm cool with. And, um, and though I understand where he's coming from, I actually find that really sad. I do, and I'm not dissing Hollow right now. I'm talking as a man. I find that really sad, and it's probably not his fault because you become a product of your own, own environment and you soak up an atmosphere that could be negative. And uh, everyone around you is just a fucking snake. And you're like, yo, I'm only going to be loyal to these fucking people, these three people in my entire life. Nova Scotia, you walk down the street, how you doing? Some place in Toronto, you walk down the street, how you doing? They might look at you weird. I don't know how it is in New York. I heard it's the same. Well, Nova Scotia, they might put their fucking drink down. They're like, you know what? I'm fucking fine. How are you? And I, I just a small example. Um, the things I talked about, like, you know, selling, it's like I lied, shirts on clips, like, and, you know, the 10% thing. I love all these battle rappers as brothers, right? I do. And, um, and we're, and, and these are, And these guys, these guys are my peers. And uh, I don't know, man. I, uh, I'll leave it at that because I don't want to seem like I'm, I'm talking shit about Hollow. Thanks. Some things I want to speak on. He, you know, came up being like, these guys are divas, blah, 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 blah. And then he kind of switched into a certain thing. And it's probably not his fault, man. He's like, well, I have to. Everyone else is doing it. Well, that's where we differ because I always stay to the soul. To the, to the soil, man. That's Thanks. no disrespect. I just wanted to speak to him as a man. I took that huge sacrifice to be like, I might, I might not get an entire reaction this round, but mm -hmm. I want to speak to him as a man because these verses are, pro are, are timeless, right? These certain punchlines and jokes might not be cool in two years. We'd be like, we'd be like last night, oh, remember when these bars were cool? Remember when this shit was cool? What's up, Quinn? Be like, remember when these things were cool? That's so old now. But guess what? Real shit is timeless. And we'll always be able to watch back that shit. So. Facts, man. Just like his jail shit, timeless. Mm -hmm. Um, now yo, uh, you said that you switched into the, the 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 shit in the third round. You know what I mean? Um, you did you have other bars written that you wanted to spit and you switched it last minute or something? Is that what you said? Or I um I had a I had an extra round just in case. Mm -hmm. Can we get some of them bars? No. <laughs> um, it's not bad personal shit. I would never come at him like that. Yeah. But, um, if I do, I'll do it on another video. Just probably not right now. Right? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Nah, but um, you know um, you just battle Hollow the Dawn, mm. who's um, you know, you and him are two, you know, you him Lux Mook, y'all are on God level to me, disaster. Thank you. Bro. Um, you know, where do you go from here? Like, I mean, there's nobody really out there, as of right now, that I can name that has earned. To battle you over here that you haven't battled, you know what I'm saying? Um, are you gonna take a break? Are you, you know, uh, are you looking to get right back to it? I'm doing a movie in July. Um, I might record music after that, capitalize off the buzz. I'm not in a rush to do any another battle anytime soon because there's where do you go from Hollow, right? So, uh, what's <laughs> the poss what's the possibilities of Pat Stay? I don't want to battle Lux. It's not because he's not great, because he is, and I, uh, I look up to him big time as a performer mm -hmm. and a lyricist. But um, I just don't. I don't think I really have anything bad to say about him. Is mm. that funny to say? <laughs> I don't want to mm. say that. I don't. I'm a real dude. It's like I, I would have to just come with bars at him, and I don't want to. Yeah. He's such an intellect. He's, a, you know, it's somebody I'd want to speak to, just like I spoke to Hollow in third round. I don't got nothing to speak to him. But I uh, show us to him. No salute. Thanks, thanks. Well, yo, Pat, uh, you know, I know you want to get out of here, man. You know, uh, I'm sure you got tons of women waiting for you at the hotel. I got a woman. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we have no women waiting for you at the hotel. <laughs> She's beautiful. But, um, you know, for, well, all the, for all the Pat Stay supporters, man, and for everybody who purchased that pay-per-view, man, and came to see you, man, in the States and around the world. Yo, know, people are like, yo, I came here from Bosnia. One guy's like, I came from Scotland. Do you mind if I get a pick? I'm like, a pick? 
You might as well get a goddamn fucking fucking blowjob. <laughs> I'm a, <laughs> like, a pet, of course you can get a fucking pet. He's like, I don't mean to bother you, but I, I fucking walked here in the snow and my fucking wife and kids died in the way. It's not, it's not really a big deal. Like, I, I let them go. I just came here to see I'm such a fucking big fan that like I lost my dick in two lays in the fucking way. Like, can I please just get a fucking pick? Of course, yes. man. I'll give you a video, man. I'll give you a hands up. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Pat State, man. Yo, you the best, man. Thank you, yo. For, you hey. know, you always take care of me, Wait. bro. Why don't you say it on camera? What? Who do you think won? Who do I think won? Uh, I told you. Uh, first, first watch. I, I'll admit that I have Pat State to win. On, on, on it's camera. crazy how many people are saying that to me, man. I have I have him take clearly taking the first round. For sure. You're your own worst critic. Um, I have I am, you. I, I have you worst. taking the second round. Um, I have to go watch the third round on pay per view, but I definitely exactly have you have. taking the third round. Yo, his third round was crazy. That jail, crazy. That, jail that jail, that rebuttal, it, 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 so it, awesome. it could be the reason why it could be both ways. Right. You know what I'm saying? He, but to me, he's round one, you're round two, and round three is up in the air. So either way, the viewer wins. It's a classic. You know what I mean? Fact. And I don't think people are gonna argue over who won. They're just gonna enjoy the show you guys both put on. Plug so, your shit. Fact. Plug your shit. That's one of Plug my best friends. Quake Matthews. Yes, sir. Quake Matthews. Check me out, QuakeMatthews.com, YouTube, Google, Twitter, Instagram, anything you want to look up, QuakeMatthews.com. Check me out, man. Facts. Nice. Past day, yo. Porno. Thank you, bro. You picked over John in that time. Hey, what's up, my Sam Bowie? That's what it was. Me and Ray at the same time. We both was in college. We both was killing. It's just a coincidence. Rex was the nigga to get picked. And I kept going, and I took off. So I come from a neighborhood called Performing Power Roof. Um, you know, my dad, my father had heavy affiliations within the neighborhood, so all of my uncles and, and all people that I looked up to was from the neighborhood, so I really had no choice but to, but to be from the neighborhood or affiliate myself with the neighborhood, so you know, 